Check on Sony for Old Ladies Lane, or Old Woman's Lane as I call it. Um, I'm doing photos with the Kodak and I have done one very long video where I'm reflecting about vandals and vandalism and comparing it to a, a drama that's on telly at the moment on channel 4 or 5 called The Coma. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about it again on this video but uh, that was a long video I've done which will be edited and might never be shared either might just be one of those I've done as I'm walking along. <sighs> anyway, this over here we've got Longwood here. And um, I've spent quite a few hours exploring Longwood before. This is much worse to walk up after you've been walking, by the way, to come up old woman's lane when you've got to come up here after you've been for a walk it can be quite a challenge but we're going down it I'm just enjoying this you know the piece of it the piece of Longwood I'm hoping they do em open it up again it's possible that you can still walk through it Yes, very peaceful Longwood. Very peaceful. It was quite spooky wood as well. Which I explored all on my own, of course. But that's lovely bluebells and wild garlic. It's the, one of the most beautiful places I know. So in a month's time, I might be able to get in of a place I know I can get in down to the the spring the the, the stream and take some pictures. I can already see the the plants here of the wild garlic coming up. Well, that green carpet there that will be one big mass of white. And further up, you'll get the bluebells in the wood. They will still happen. The bluebells will still come out, and the wild garlic. They've been tidying up the wood up because of ash dieback and they actually fenced it off when not really supposed to go in there. But it's, um, I'm glad I got lots of video. I did a brilliant video a few years ago of the spring with the wild garlic and the bluebells. I took some really good images just in case they keep this closed. I'm sure you can still get in, but what, when I looked through once, I thought they've actually done it in such a way that the paths have been taken away. They've just put big branches across everything. So that, you know, like I call this debris here, they've just shoved it all over the paths. So, well, unless they clear all that one day open it up again because it was marked it was a marked walk for families they've chopped a lot down I've got early memories and I was younger as well 15 years ago I have um, aged life hasn't been kind at times that's why I go walking walking and talking it helps, it's my healer. And some people heal with others. But I actually go on my own. I think if I did have a a close friend or something, it would be nice, but I haven't. Most of the people I know are either dead or they live in another part of the world, unfortunately. And with my kids, they're too fit and young for me to walk with. They get fed up pottering. Well, I used to be a lot fitter. I used to run marathons, don't forget. <sighs> yes, 
used to run marathons. So I was very fit once. But I actually like going slow. I've pointed it out before. I like to look and listen, absorb. Listen to that bird up there. I love the sound of the birds. Someone's had an orange. A little squirrel running across. I call this old woman's lane. Like it just I think there's just something about it that makes me think of the past. And uh, this has been an old route for a long time. Walked by many. Many still walk here as spirits, as I will. I will come back. I will do my walk when I'm dead. Oh yeah, yeah, I will. There used to be a path going up through there. I can still see it a bit. Might still be partly there, you know. Of course, you know what's come going to be appearing, don't you? hear somebody coming. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. Well, I've just had a chat with a couple that were also sad that the wood was shut. Longwood. Longwood nature is all closed off because it's resting the wood at the moment. It's allowing it to heal itself. So, it is a special place. I'm, I'm, I'm respecting that to leave it alone. I'm respecting it. I just put the video on, there's somebody else coming now. So, yeah. Somebody else coming. Let me turn off again, I'll come back on in a minute. So peaceful, very quiet, no wind. It's actually warmer now as well. Lovely old mossy walls, look. A lot of history here. A lot of ancientness. Something special about me, peace. When I walk here. I've just bumped into some people, of course. So there's some more people up here. Every time I put the video on, somebody comes. This is the entrance to Velvet Bottom up here. But we, I'm not going that way today. I'm turning right and going up through the Black Rock, past the quarry. And then I'll be going up the other side of the gorge. That's plan A. Nice gentle walk. This black rock quarry, everyone. Remind yourself of an ambush. Cannons to the right of you, cannons to the left of you. Onward, road the 500. 
The Charge of Light Brigade coming up through here. And that's through Velvet Bottom. It reminds me of that. And I've mentioned it loads of times. Yeah, it's a bit fragile. You can just imagine the whole piece falling off like that. And a big slice coming down. Seen goats up there, mind? Have you? Yeah. Seen goats. I'm just going to go over towards this bench, which I haven't noticed before. And quite often I've walked up the top there, and there doesn't seem to be any cows out. It could be that it is okay to go up there and walk along the top. Could be. And it is a nice walk. It's one I like doing. And there we are, Black Rock. Let's take a picture of it. Right, this is Black Rock Quarry. <coughs> there used to be a little memorial to a dog that died here. Could be 10 years ago now, might not be 10 years, but it came running from the top and fell to its death here. Just flew right, just ran right off the top. I've seen goats and people on that ledge there. But it's all quite fragile here, really. Up there, there's a nice walk up the top there. Um, but basically, I wish I'd known if the cows were out, I could have walked up the top there and come down the path. Uh, there's no guarantee the cows won't be in another field, though, which is another way of me walking. I don't even know if I'll complete what I wanted to do today either. I don't know if I will or not. Right. The drama Pole Dark with some of that was filmed here. Some of the scenes of this quarry were shown on Pole Dark. The last pole dark that was filmed. So. Am I still videoing? Yeah. Oh. In a minute, I've just got my breath back, because in a minute, I've got to climb up the other side of the gorge. It's a steady climb up. In many ways, it's easier going up than coming down. Oh. Yeah, I've noticed they've put a few benches along here now. Or somebody sat on one a minute ago. There's the old uh, lime kiln. Quite a big one here. Quite a big one. Who knows if they didn't have a railway track here as well. They might have done, mightn't they? Yeah? It'll all be recorded somewhere in history. Someone would have written it down. Some more people coming. And there are walks up through here as well, through gates. Right, so it's a bit very broken the video at the moment. People coming and going. Like I said, there are paths up through the wood there. That looks like an old one where it's very pale there. I think that might have been one once. Because there's, there's a gate there. I've got a feeling that is a, a pathway up. But maybe people don't use it or they don't 
Yeah, I've done that one before. It's the next gate I usually come down, usually than going up. If I've been over the other side to see the alapacas, um, I would come down to the next gate, just along a bit, a bit further. After having a walk through the what I call the Hobbit Wood, further over up the top there, which has also got lots of old ruins and features. Yeah, so we've got that climb up the hill in a minute. Down here there's a place where people park, not everyone walks like we, like I do. Um, they do sh smaller, maybe they're sensible, I don't know. I mean there were times when I used to bring Alberta and park in Cheddar. That was frequent and do circular walks. When I was doing a lot of exploring, that was really handy on a van. I wasn't dictated to by time, and I could stay out to sort of eight, nine o'clock in the evening over here, exploring. I can't do that now, I am dictated to. I mean, the very last bus is around about, I think it's 20 past six or something like that. If you miss that, you've had it. There ain't no others. That's why I used to like the five o'clock. Because I always thought if that one for any reason didn't come, or I missed it, that I would still be able to get the next, the very last one. Yeah, there's the steps. So it looks, maybe they're stopping people going up there. That's one one I usually come down. Ah, maybe they're not allowing it now. Let's have a read. Ah, it does look like it, doesn't it? This path is not uh, in front of the trees. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So I can't actually get up there anymore, up there either. Let me just yeah, take a so picture of that. The path I used to come down after. Yeah, that's uh, closed. So I wouldn't have been able to, well, I was climbed over it somehow. Up here there's another little route which can take you back up to the uh, the north side of the gorge where I was earlier. There's a path that weaves in and out of this wood. But we're going straight through the gate, across the road and up the other side on a gentle little hike up. Just taking our time, enjoying the beauty, even on a grey, grey day. What's annoying, I come out on these grey days, and guess what? Two days later, there'd be a brilliantly warm blue sky day. You know, but you've got to record in all weathers. I'm going to turn off for a little while.